God has no hell, only a heaven. Men are the ones who are expert at creating hell. Men's ability to slaughter, torture, torment, destroy and devastate knows no bounds and has soaked the planet in blood and death. God has no Auschwitz, no Cambodian genocide, no Holodomor, no world wars or Vietnam war, no Russian invasion. These are all men's grotesque outrages, as are their rapes, domination, violence, abuse, drug trading, criminality, people trafficking and worst of all, their abuse of the young. Men use fear to control, but God uses love and so only has a heaven such generosity and unconditional love are repugnant to men, and so they trespass God's domain with their bloodlust and invade it with descriptions of a place of eternal torment where people will suffer the worst forevermore. So-called Christians delight in writing on my videos and lives that they will look forward to me burning in hell. <laughs> It obviously doesn't cross their mind that a good and loving person could never be at peace in heaven, knowing that others were suffering. Nor that God could not be God, rather the devil, if an extermination camp was an integral part of the divine plan. Hell is the perverted fantasy of cruel and sadistic people claiming to be God's representatives. The church uses it to terrify, coerce and control. Priests' depravity has even stooped as low as to claim that God would send unbaptized babies to hell. Oh, please rid yourself of these vile, poisonous and manipulative beliefs that have nothing to do with God. God's love will ensure that we are healed, restored and forgiven in our lifetimes. And for those responsible for heinous crimes, more remedial and rehabilitative work will take place after they have died. But in the end, all will be changed and all reformed so that when we finally arrive at heaven, heaven can truly be heaven for us all. For God, the God of love, has no hell.